Hello, everyone. This is Miss Tina. Welcome back to our English story time. Today, Miss Tina want to show you a story. The story's name is the mitten. The mitten. Do you get a picture? Here comes a mitten with all of the animal, and they are all look at the mitten. What are they doing? What happened with the mitten and all the animal? Let's find out. One little boy lost his mitten and he began to cry. One there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. One little boy lost his mitten and he began to cry. At first, his grandmother Baba did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you will never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally Baba met them. One little boy lost his mitten, and he began to cry. After she finished, she said, "When you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound." But then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nicky went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Did you see the mitten right over here? Oh no! What is gonna happen? Can he find it? One little boy lost his mitten, and he began to cry. A mole, tired from tunneling alone, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. One little boy lost his mitten, and he began to cry. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten, and he wiggled in. Feet first, the mole didn't think there was room for both of them. But when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. One little boy lost his mitten, and he began to cry. Next, a hedgehog came snuffle alone, having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat. He decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bump and just, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with pickles. They made room. One little boy lost his mitten, and he began to cry. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in, also the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's scanty talons, they quickly let him in. One little boy lost his mitten, and he began to cry. Up through the snow appeared a badger. His eye the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl went not were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his digger, they gave him the tongue. One little boy lost his mitten, and he began to cry. It starts snowing, but the animal was snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and the fox, trotting by, stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the beggar saw his shiny teeth, 
they gave the fox lots of room. One little boy lost his mitten and he began to cry. A great bear lumbered by. He spied a mitten all plump up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animal was packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten sweated and. Charged. It was poor and bog too many times its size, but Baba's good kitten had fast. One little mitten lost that mitten, and he began to cry. Along came a middle mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wiggled into the one space lap and made herself comfortable on top of the gray bear's nose. And the little boy found he lost his mitten. Where can he find it? One little boy lost his mitten, and he began to cry. The bear, tickled by the mouse whisker, gave an enormous knee. Ha! Choo! The force of a knee shoved the mittens up into the sky, and. Scatter the animal in all in different direction. One little boy lost his mitten and he began to cry. On his way home, Nicky saw a white ship in the distance. It was a lost mitten, slight shutter against the blue sky. One little boy lost his mitten and he began to cry. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mitten. One little boy lost his mitten, and he began to cry. But Baba was wondering what happened to the mitten. The mitten size is bigger than the other one. Hmm. What happened? One little boy lost his mitten, and he began to cry. Today we are going to introduce a word: mitten, mitten, m i t t e n, mitten, mitten 就是手套的意思哦。Hope you learned the word. Enjoy story. See you next time. Bye bye.